what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking john 4 here bringing you guys a killzone shadowfall multiplayer gameplay and uh, the game mode is domination and i think i really think they barely added this game mode like last week or something because i know there's usually only like around four game modes which is uh six versus six tdm um 24 man tdm and search and destroy um you know killzone multiplayer and that's that was about it but I think they barely added this one like last week or something because i never seen it here before. So so yeah, anyways, this is just a chill gameplay, guys. I'm not really trying that hard. I'm just protecting the flags that I'm supposed to. And uh, will I ever consider doing tips for this game or any kind of uh, you know strategies? Not really. I mean, whatever you see here, guys, that's what you, I want you guys to take because uh, they're good with it. Because also another thing, this is like the first time I ever used this weapon. Maybe like the third time that like during that day. But like... Oh. You know, I really don't know anything about this weapon. I don't even know what the hell it's called. So, so yeah, I mean, don't even bother asking me, like, what weapon should you use? Because I'm not really sure about this game. I don't really study it. I do mostly Call of Duty. So, moving on to the main point of this video, guys. I just want to talk about the FPS world, you know, how I miss it. How long have I been out, you know. I just want to say, I think I've been out of the game since uh, January of 2014. You know, barely this year. And uh, it's because of Call of Duty Ghosts, you know, that game was really more challenging to rushers. Uh, campers, you know, they pretty much had it dominated. You know, everybody just, can just hide anywhere because there was no spy planes. You know, that's the true thing. If spy planes would have been involved into Call of Duty Ghosts, a lot of campers would have been killed and the game would have been a little bit more long-lasting. You gotta admit that, guys. You know, if the spy plane would have come back to Call of Duty Ghosts, Call of Duty Ghosts would have actually lasted longer than it should have been. For sure, some of you guys quit it like uh, like one month after or two months after, and that's pretty much insane because I know a lot of people quit Black Ops 2 like maybe six months into it, and this is the fastest you know quitting game ever, Call of Duty Ghost because it was missing so much stuff. So, I mean, I do blame there was no spy planes. I mean, come on, there was a reason why they were there because nobody can find each other on big ass maps, so they gotta put spy planes. I don't understand what the hell is this with the satcom bullshit. Like, they should really take it away and put Spy Plane back on because it's really killing the game like that. Do not listen to competitors. Just stop, man. Like, seriously, I just want to make a rage video about that. So, anyways, you know, FPS genre, I missed my Modern Warfare 3 days. I missed my Black Ops 1 days. My Black Ops 1 days were pretty much legendary, guys. Legendary that nobody ever saw. Only one person is, like, witness to what I did. And uh, that person is still on my friends list, though. So. But I haven't talked to him, like, since, like, I don't, I don't know, like, half a year. So yeah, another thing that I really missed the most playing with the people that I used to play with in Modern Warfare 3. Uh, those were like pretty good, pretty good people, pretty cool people. We did a lot of series together. I want to, I want to name out some people, guys. Gotcha, good. This guy. Now this guy was a star for funny live moments for Modern Warfare 3. If you guys haven't seen that series, make sure you go to my main page and click on Funny Live Moments playlist. Because that playlist is just legendary. I don't even know how I pulled it off. It was just an idea out of nowhere of just like recording angry people and it turned into something else. <laughs> I don't know. I just recorded weird stuff, a lot of funny things, and that's how it turned out. And I ended up racking up like more than 100 views per video on that series. So it was pretty much insane. And uh, he was pretty much the star of the first season, which is Modern Warfare 3 Funny Live Moments. And it was insane. It was funny. And, uh, you know gotcha good hopefully we can play again in the next Call of Duty Advanced Warfare if it's any good or hopefully in Minecraft though Minecraft is also coming by like in August in the PS4 and I know you're in the PS4 because I messaged you and I was making sure if you were if you were him and it was you so so yeah you're pretty much Kobe or Kobe with the E I don't really know how to spell your name so anyways another person that I really miss playing with Cruel7 Chavez another person that really showed up when I started here in my channel, you guys haven't seen my beginning videos like the funny ones though, not the not the strategy ones, the funny ones, and maybe some certain gameplays too. Like you can see Cruel Seven Chavez most of the time there in my gameplays. It was pretty much hilarious, uh, whatever he did. So and also we were pretty much dominating together. It was crazy. It was insane, and that's what I liked about Modern Warfare Three. We were insane players, man. Um, Black Ops One. What I really missed about it is the chopper gunners calling it in every single time, helping noobs. Also, I I was never with a freaking clan. In Black Ops 1, I was never with a freaking clan. I was by myself. I was, like, with noobs. I was teamed up with noobs. And I, I had to take on, like, 15 prestige clans, and it was insane. That's what I like about Black Ops 1. I was insane. And I was never, you know, scared of a challenge. I was never scared. Uh, the reason why Call of Duty Ghosts are back down 
from it because uh, you know Call of Duty goes it's pretty much of a shit game and uh, you know it's missing so much stuff like I said at the beginning of the video so that's why I give up on Call of Duty goes Battlefield 4 um, I think I would have gone longer I would have gave out like more tips and strategies and gameplays it's just that I sold it for Call of Duty goes which was a huge mistake and yes I do admit it it was a huge fucking mistake. I shouldn't have never sold Battlefield 4 for Call of Duty Ghosts because I was doing so good in Battlefield 4. A lot of people were like going over here with a new fan base and I don't know. I should never quit Battlefield 4. It was a good game. But I'm coming back for Battlefield uh, Heartline though. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I will buy it. But for all of you guys who are watching this video, I suggest to only buy the goddamn regular game. Do not buy the Heartland Edition. Do not buy the Collector's Edition because it's not worth it. You don't even know what the hell they're going to give out. Just giving you guys a heads up. So anyways, guys, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up. If you guys want some more chill, kill zone, shadowfall, multiplayer, please let me know in the comment section. And leave a like to support uh, these kinds of gameplays. If you guys like this classic style commentaries and gameplay.